the North Wales murder cases that have never been solved. Here are seven murder cases that remain undetected in North Wales. One of the cases dates back to the 1940s, while the latest relates to the death of a man in Rill, nearly four years ago. Another case involves the gruesome discovery of a man's remains in Woodland, near Ruffin, in 2015 during a stage of the Wales Rally GB. The Clock, Kine Nog Murder. The Clockinog Forest is a forest located in West Denbyshire in Wales. The name of the forest comes from the village located nearby near Ruffin. The forest has a handful of history and events connected to it, the youngest victim of Peter Moore. A 47-year-old man also committed suicide in the forest. The Clockinog Forest Man is the description of an unidentified man found in the forest of Clockinog. Despite local searches in the forest the body had been undiscovered for at least 20 years. On November 14, 2015 the skeletal remains of the male were discovered by two brothers, Andrew and Mark Middle. The brothers were in the forest as they were watching the 2015 Wales Rally, during the late evening Mark went collecting firewood when he stumbled across a skull. The skull was human, covered in moss and barely visible, Mark contacted the local police at 20.35 pm. One of the first police officers on the scene concluded that it was the skull of a male, and that he had been decomposing since 1995 and 2005. Shortly after the discovery, a large-scale search was called, the Skellington was almost extracted in fall. Unfortunately, the skull didn't bring any matches forward, and no person on the missing persons list matched either. The cause of death was blunt force trauma to the head, however, the man seemed to have been murdered elsewhere and placed within the forest. The identity of the man was discussed, and it was concluded that the skeleton was, male, over 54 years old, 5 feet 8 inches to 5 feet 10 inches tall, he had a unique set of teeth, and arthritis was present. Some items of clothing were found nearby, which included a dark green jumper, and dark red underwear. In 2015, the death was ruled as suspicious, the information regarding an alleged identifier was revealed to the public, the senior investigating officer, Mr. Hansen said, I am conscious at this stage the description of the man is minimal, and initial indications suggest his remains have been in the forest at Pentelinsheimer for several years. In 2016, the dental records were released to the public to help identify the man. The leading individual on the case at the time, Mr. Chesters stated, we believe the male had crown work undertaken and the procedure is thought to have been commonly used in the UK between 1980 and 2000. Also, in 2016, the jumper and underwear at the scene were discovered to be from Marks and Spencer brand. Later, in 2016, a sketch was released, showing the way the man may have looked when he was alive. In 2017, police confirmed that they had been contacted by, and met with, serial killer Peter Moore, following his claims that he knew the identity of the Clockinog forest man. However, police later claimed that Peter's information didn't add up and seemed very implausible. On Friday 16th of November 2018, a renewed murder appeal was released, the senior investigating officer, Detective Superintendent Yestin Davis of the Major Incident Team, said, it's been three years since the body of a man was found in Clockinog Forest. He remains unidentified. If anyone has information about any of these cases they should contact North Wales Police on 101, or you can contact Crime Stoppers anonymously, on 0800 555 111.
that's North Wales Police on 101, or you can contact Crime Stoppers anonymously, on 0800 555 111.